welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I clean my rabbit's cage so my rabbit is an Angora bunny so she's very long fur and her name is Nelly um so right now her cage is extremely messy um, because she just got spayed um, and she had to stay in her cage for three days so I couldn't clean it couldn't vacuum it, it would scare her if I opened the door too much she'd try and leave um, so it's very messy right now, um, but I thought this would be a great time to show you guys how I clean it. So, um, I am really against using cages that you'd get from, like, the pet store. So, um, those cages that are, like, those big, that's tiny for a rabbit. Rabbits need a lot of space. So my rabbit is a sometimes free roam. She does have, um, a little room that she stays in, but, uh, usually she's a free roam. Right now she has to stay in her little place. Um, but today is the day she gets to come out. She had to stay in there for three days, you know, leaving. Um, but she gets to now, and so her cage is super messy. But, um, it's not exactly a cage. It's a little closet that we have under the stairs, and we clear it all out. So she has enough room to run in there, but she is partly free roam, so she does run around our house a little bit. So yeah, I'm just going to show you guys how I clean it, how I feed it, and also just showing you guys my bunny. Okay, yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so I'm going to show you her little room. This is the closet, and I have Nellie's done on here. Now, beware, it is very messy in here. See, it is very messy. Um, so this is her. This is Nellie. She is a, such a sweet little rabbit. As you can tell, she ate all her food today. But this is the first time she gets to come out in three days. We don't like her getting into our rooms because she will eat the cords and chew a lot of stuff. So we just have this little baby gate here that we ordered off Amazon. And I have to lock that. So now she's allowed to come out. I'm not sure if she will, but she's going to have to. So I'm gonna okay, so it. how I start is I start vacuuming it up using this little top extendy vacuum thing. So I'm going to vacuum all the little poops up and loose hay or food pieces. Okay, so now that I've vacuumed most of it, there's still hay everywhere, but that's what I get for putting that big block of hay in there. I'm not sure if you guys saw it. But she's a huge block of hay in there, so it gets everywhere. So I vacuumed up mostly everything. Um, now I'm going to empty out her litter box. So I just empty that out and add a little bit more litter in. And um, I know that a lot of people say that you shouldn't use cat litter because it's too, like, dusty for them. Um, I cannot use any other bedding because she's a really long-haired rabbit. And her hair is super, like, extremely hard to get anything out of. So we tried, like, a bedding, but it just got stuck in her fur and got all tangled. Um, so we just use a very low, like a dust free, it has very little dust cat litter. Currently we are out of cat litter and this is all that we had left. So we're gonna have to buy some more of that. But I guess for now I'll just put this in here and she can try and use over there. Um, I'm gonna keep this out for right now though so that I can get everything out and I need to clean up this. So this is some pee. She, um... She usually, she's gotten good at not doing this, but sometimes she'll still do this. And this is just like leftover residue from the, um, the little spray stuff that we use. For some reason, it like stains it white. Um, anyway, I have to clean that up first. Clean this up is I use this, which is Natrium's Miracle 3-in-1 Odor Destroyer. So it's really good for cleaning up any, um, surfaces that the animals have went to the bathroom on. And then I'm also using this Febreze fabric odor eliminator because um she basically like drenched the whole carpet and pee and it smells really nasty in here so we're just spraying this in there too and then i just have a few paper towels folded up to clean that up okay so now it's time for organizing my favorite part okay so now that i've organized i'm going to fill up her food and water so bunnies get their food dishes, I mean their water dishes, extremely dirty, extremely fast. So this has to be changed out like once a day or something. And then here are her three little food things. This is for her veggies, which should be part, most of her meal. This is for her dessert. So this will be like leafy greens, like lettuce, spinach, 
um, kale, stuff like that. This is for her dessert, which means like bananas, apples, fruits, carrots, something like that for a little dessert. And then in here is where I put all of her little pellets. And then obviously she has, she has, she has this huge thing of hay um, because bunnies need a lot to pay. And then we have this little tunnel, and I don't think she ever goes through it because it's probably a little small. I mean, she could she probably fit in there, but um, she usually just chews on this. She doesn't really like this a lot, but you can see that she's chewed a few of the edges. And up here, we have her medicine. I won't show the front because it has some like personal things, like names and stuff. Um, but this is just some medicine because she did get spades. This is a little um, pain medicine that I give her every single morning. She only has two of these things left in there, I think. Um, so she only has two more days of taking this and they're actually like, they taste like cherry, so she loves them. And um, they're not, they're in like little syringes, so I can just kind of feed them. Time to fill those things up. Boom! Okay, so I got her a new water bowl. Um, because she'd been using that one for a couple weeks now. Um, so I got her a whole new water bowl. I got her some spinach that she loves. And for her little treat, I got her some bananas. She loves bananas because they're so sweet and she just really loves them. So this is kind of like her meal and this is her little dessert. And then I will fill up some pellets. Here's the deal about pellets. Pellets can be very healthy for your rabbits. Um, but... Do not believe what that says. This is not all your bunny should eat. This is not food. This is like a side dish. So it's like Get rabbit rabbit. pellets. Make sure that it is just plain pellets. Make sure it doesn't have any of that like extra stuff. It's like, oh, it's delicious, but it's actually terrible for your rabbits. So like those yogurt drops, those things are also very bad for your rabbits. It's like yogurt drops, um, those like fake fruit things. <laughs> Or like if they put like those dried sugar fruit things in there, um, that is not good. You just want plain pebbles. And I use this brand, which is Oxbro, um, but I just like it because they have nothing else in there, just the pellets. So um, you don't want to give your uh, rabbit too many pellets. I usually fill it up about this much um, and just give this to her. Now I'm going to put it down there. And then she has water, spinach, bananas, and pellets, and hay. And then uh, she is. is the litter box that is definitely not even close to being full. Um, but we'll just have to make do with that until like tomorrow. We'll probably go to the grocery store then. Okay, Nellie, now your cage is all clean. It becomes very dirty very fast and it's already like covered in hay. Hi. There we go.